I was actually just talking to my staff during the week and complimenting how well Nigel Atkins had done. How you know it had been a it was always going to be difficult two promotions. You know, MD who does that coming up, so it's a long way up. And he just looked as if he got himself out of the bottom three and, and moved up. And I think I don't think there were many people who were looking at Nigel Atkins as a in that position uh, to be sacked. I thought he'd done a really good job. That's the same players and uh, you know I don't know what effect it will have, if it will have any on them uh, in the end of the day, but uh, they've got a new manager in. Uh, it's now happened. As I said, you know, we'll all move on. It's it's what, what does happen. And, uh, you know, obviously everybody will look to see how, how the new manager does and and what, what he's got about him. Well, we've had some good results. Uh, we'd like to have more. And if we want to try and stay hovering near the top end, we're going to have to try and continue to get good results. Uh, but it is important to try and pick up points on the road when you can and uh, the last couple of games we've done quite well, we've got to try and do it again. I, I think a lot of the tackling uh, which your fills are given for us isn't, isn't aren't fills or it's just maybe just the, t the timing of the tackle isn't right. I don't think all the decisions we're seeing at the moment are sending offs and I don't think all the tackles we're seeing are bookings either. But uh, I think we've just gone a little bit soft completely. Where you know we're allowing every every decision, and you know as managers and players, you know and the supporters as well, we're all shouting every time, you know they're putting the pressure on the referees. So we can't just sort of say it's down to the referees. We're actually now breeding it where we, you know, we're not encouraging any any contact at all.